Dr. Pepper's here now. GC results are out. And uh, and like you know, others made it. Or others did not actually make it. Uh, we'll actually look at two things uh, that are of major concern with regards to the GC results that were announced yesterday. Number one is uh, the failure rate for sciences uh, and math. And of course, those who actually wrote more than five subjects. Why did only 3,000 something out of the 14,000 something that actually sat for these exams, why did only the 3,000 something, of course, make it? And number two is uh, why some people's results were nullified. Now, let me talk about the first thing. The reason why some people did not actually make it is because, number one, they don't have enough time to prepare. So they are doing something else. Maybe they go for work, they have a business and all that. So they've got uh, a lot of time that is uh, spent on other endeavors. And, of course, I've got less time spent on schoolwork. You have three years of work, grade 10 work, 11 work, 12 work, something that you cannot cover in just three months or in two months. So the first thing that one ought to do is that you're supposed to assess yourself. Okay, can I be able to exit for five subjects? Can I be able to sit for two subjects according to my schedule? You look at that. Number two, it's actually a dependence on leakages or being helped and all that. So some people, they are reluctant because they know that they will enter at a center where they will be helped. So if they're not helped at that center, that means uh, nothing happens. Uh, the other reason why people fail is because they have not actually known what kind of learners they are. Are they slow learners? Are they medium learners? Are they fast learners? If you know that you are a slow learner, you're supposed to go through things over and over again for you to understand. If you are a fast learner, at least it's easier for you to understand things uh, within a short period of time. So these are some of the reasons why people fail there a lot, uh, but I'm just making it short. The other thing now is results being notified. Now, uh, results were notified for centers, and of course about eight centers uh have been suspended so the reason why uh, results were notified it's due to more practice now it's not it's not necessarily leakages and all that but one of the things is uh those centers helping out their students so you find that they're giving students answers and all that so it pays a cut uh they write an answer then everyone in that hall writes the answer word by word like they are all writing the same format like the same way the same words the same punctuation and all that so by CZ would know that okay people cannot have the same thoughts uh to actually write everything in the same way same punctuation same words and all that it's impossible so when they see that they'll definitely sense that you no know, i think these guys were being shown some people are actually allowed to go with phones. So when they go with phones, they would actually search on AI and all that. So you'd find that uh, by CZ, these guys are actually craft. That's the thing. So they've been trained to, to, to look at such cases. So you'd find that uh, some people, they Google on the internet for answers and all that. Then... Those are the answers that they write. So when we said know that, that means you're actually gone. And the bonus is that just uh, a few cases of malpractice can actually cause the entire uh, school or center to have their results notified. Just like what happened uh, uh, this year. So make sure that if you are entering for your exams next year, for next year exams, enter at a reputable school now i always advise my students uh the centers that are supposed to write from and of course we have our center summer secondary school and of course i'm extending uh my network to liwala secondary school and uh, lilai secondary school so meaning i'll have three liwala secondary school lilai secondary school and uh, musamba 
that's that's the thing so from these centers the ones who wrote from our school uh no other challenges there were no cases of malpractice everyone got got their results uh they checked everything and uh we did not have uh, any challenges because some actually sent me their results so these are actually some of the results you can see science one are e2 commerce four you can see here science three you can see all this math biology english you can see all that civic education are e you can see this you can see that can see that so all these are uh, results of our students and of course it's like some results of some of our students not everyone because um i've just received these ones uh today so make sure that if you're entering for gce you enter at a center that is reputable so when uh gc registrations begin i'll actually post on my page and i'll post in the groups so that uh, one can be able to actually uh, register at of centers. We do not have any issues uh, of more practice. And with regards to next year exams, I've actually begun classes already uh, for grade uh, 10 to 12 and those are writing under GC. So if you're writing under GC next year, you're planning on rewriting uh, subjects that you do not do well in. I've actually begun the classes so that you might have enough time to prepare so make sure that uh if you if you don't join the classes you can simply inbox me and all that uh for gc it's a 60 quarter per subject monthly then for grade uh, 10 and 11 and 12 also i've got uh, classes that are in progress for the grade 12s we're actually going through past paper revisions and doing some final touches and all that for grade 11s and 10s we're doing topics so make sure that if you're writing under GC, you let me know your schedule and all that. Now, due to load shedding, uh, we use Zoom, of course. Then those whose phones don't support Zoom, uh, I actually use recorded videos. But for now, I'm using recorded videos so that you can watch the lessons at any time. Uh, then if you have any questions, you can ask me if I give out work. You go through the work, submit the answers, we review the work, then we progress. That is uh, that is how things are done. So if you want to join my classes and all that, just uh, inbox uh, me. If it's uh, if it's on Facebook that you're watching this, you can just uh, inbox my page, this page, Dr. Peppers TM. If you're on TikTok, it's uh, HMT Academy on Intuitions. You can actually... Uh, comment inbox me and all that if it's on whatsapp you can just uh comment in the group or something you can just inbox me so make sure that uh you work hard so that you're able to score uh some of these uh some of these results that i'm seeing so the people here and i'm actually uh signing out